Hello Year 2 and welcome to our next English lesson. First of all, I wanted to say I am so proud of you. You have all written incredible poems and you have certainly entertained me as your audience. Your vocabulary choices have just blown me away. So a huge well done to you. And I really hope that you've made some time to share it with your audience, whoever that may be. So well done. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be moving on to something new, which is exciting. We're going to be using the skills we've been practicing recently. So it's a chance to consolidate our understanding and feel really confident with using those. It's also linked to our wow day last week and our wider curriculum learning on oceans and seas as we've been thinking about Grace Darling and her rescue. So today is Wednesday the 27th of January 2021 and the learning objective is plan interesting vocabulary choices. So please pause the video here and write the date and learning objective. Well done. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about what we're going to be doing. So we are going to be leading up to writing the ending of a fantasy story. So let me share the key features with you. So in the beginning of the story, there's going to, there's a real world setting with an everyday object, which is the trigger. In the middle, there's a journey to the fantasy world. And in the ending, there's you arrive in the fantasy world. And that is going to be what you're describing tomorrow. Now, these key features will make a lot more sense to you in a minute. As a video, is going to be inspiring our writing, which is exciting. So as we are writing a fantasy story, our purpose is to entertain. We really want our audience to enjoy it. So please make a choice today on who your audience is going to be. And also year two will have the joys of hearing your writing being read aloud on Friday during our live English session. So let's zoom out to our grammar skills and we're going to be using expanded noun phrases again. This is the skill that we're really going to build up to proving again. So using more than one adjective before the noun to add detail and description for the audience. So we must remember to use our commas and we're also going to be using interesting verbs in the present tense. So thinking about the action happening in the now. So year two, here's the video. It's about an everyday object which triggers a fantasy story. So please pause the video here and click on the link on Class Dojo to take you to watch something fishy. Enjoy it year two. Well done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the video that's going to be inspiring our story writing. So I've got some questions here to prompt your discussions at home or in the classroom. What is the real world trigger? What is the journey? And where does the character arrive? What type of setting is it? What do you notice about the sea creatures? And I wonder if you can retell the story to what you've watched in the video, identifying the beginning, middle, and ending and picking out any significant features. So please pause the video here to discuss the questions and retell the story. Well done year two. So I noticed that the real world trigger was the washing machine and the journey was quite short, wasn't it? So the character went through the washing machine and she arrived in an underwater world. And in the underwater world, the sea creatures were made from her washing, weren't they? Um, so I hope you had fun retelling the story as well. So I'm going to share with you, year two, the beginning, which is about the trigger, and the middle, which is about the journey, with you. Now, the reason I'm not sharing the ending of this fantasy story with you today is because that's going to be over to you tomorrow. So listen carefully as I read the story starter. Something fishy. I went to the laundrette to do my washing because it was Wednesday. 
Wednesday was washing day. I was tired as it was late. Suddenly, I noticed something strange inside the washing machine. It was a fish. Was I dreaming? It can't be a fish. Surely it was just a sock. Slowly, I got out of my seat and went to have a closer look. Shocked, I saw it again. My sock had transformed into a fish and there were schools of them. Did I own that many socks? After that, I opened the door. Carefully, I reached out and touched the bubble of water leading to the underwater world. Then, I took a deep breath and put my head inside. I swam through a dark, narrow tunnel and that's when I saw it. So that leaves it down to you, year two, to describe the underwater world tomorrow. So it's going to be really important that we use interesting vocabulary choices to entertain our audience. So today, in preparation, we are going to plan expanded noun phrases and interesting verbs using the present tense. And then we can use these in our writing tomorrow. So I've got an example here to share with you. So on your screen, you can see that I've got a screenshot of part of the video. So I paused it on this particular part. So the noun I have chosen to describe is the seaweed. So when we are choosing our nouns today, we're thinking about an object in the video or a sea creature in the video. So the noun I've chosen is seaweed. Underneath, I've planned an expanded noun phrase. So I'm thinking about what adjectives could I use before the noun to add detail? So the adjectives I chose to use were tall and towering. So we've got tall, comma, towering, and then seaweed is the noun. And because there's more than one adjective before the noun, there is a comma to show them in a list, okay? So we've got our noun, which is seaweed. Underneath, we've got our expanded noun phrase, tall, towering seaweed. And then lastly, I was thinking about the present tense verb, which describes the action. And if you have a look in the picture, you can see the seaweed like this, can't you? And I thought the present tense verb could be standing, standing still. We're thinking about it happening in the now. So you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to present this in my book today when I'm planning? So I've got an example here to share with you. So in your books today, please write the noun first of all, so the object or the sea creature. On the line underneath, please write your expanded noun phrase. So here we've got tall, towering seaweed. And then on the line underneath that, write your present tense verb. So here we have standing still. When moving on to a new object or sea creature, leave a line like I have modelled here and write the next noun. So the next noun that we're going to be thinking about together is the sock fish. As you may have already seen, the fish were made from socks. So year two, please pause the video here and discuss what expanded noun phrase could you use to describe the sock fish? Try and think of two adjectives. Once you've discussed your expanded noun phrase, have a think about how the socks were moving. What action were they making? Try and describe it using a present tense verb. Well done year two. Brilliant. So I was thinking, year two, of describing the sock fish as stripy and colourful. So we've got stripy and colourful as our adjectives. And sock fish is the noun. There isn't a comma between sock and fish, as the sock fish is the object, okay? So there is only one comma separating the adjectives, as you can see here. So I was thinking about those sock fish and how were they moving? And I went for dart up and down. 
okay because they were they were whizzing around weren't they oh whiz that's another word so sockfish stripy colorful sockfish dart up and down brilliant thanks for your help here too okay now we're going to have a think about the hat turtles you may have noticed that the turtles were made out of hats so i wonder if you can pause the video here and think of an interesting expanded noun phrase to describe the hat turtles and also think about the action they were making. So please pause the video here to discuss your ideas. Amazing year two. Okay, so let me share my thinking with you. So the object is and the sea creature is the hat turtles. And I've chosen to describe the hat turtles as small and woolly. So we've got small woolly hat turtles. I was thinking about how they're moving and turtles can be rather slow, can't they? So I've gone for swim, pass slowly. So I've used an adverb there to add detail to my verb. Okay, so this morning, year two, your task is to plan expanded noun phrases and interesting verbs using the present tense. And please present your writing in the same way that I have modeled to you this morning. As you can see on your screen, there is a word bank to help you if you would like to use it. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you. I've noted some nouns that you might choose to describe. So we've got seaweed, sockfish, hat turtles, t-shirt, octopus, water, sunlight, but I'm sure you'll think of lots of others. There are also some examples of present tense verbs which describe the action like drift, swim, glide, float, dart, spin, whirl, rush, dance, travel. But again, I'm sure you'll think of your own as well. Like I thought of whiz this morning, didn't I, instead of dart. So please plan um, ready for your writing tomorrow. And when you have finished planning, please review and edit spelling, punctuation, particularly thinking about commas and expanded noun phrases, as you shouldn't have capital letters and full stops today, as we're just planning groups of words rather than writing sentences. And review your word choices to make improvements. So it might be that when you're finished, you have another look and you think, could I have used a more interesting word choice than the one I've planned here? So it'd be great to reflect on your writing. I really look forward to seeing your interesting vocabulary choices year two, as I know you're doing an amazing job with these already this week. Well done year two.